Hi, it's Lauren. Welcome to another Whimsy Stamps video. Today I'm sharing how I made this slim length card using some brand new Whimsy Stamps products. I am using a piece of green cardstock from Cardstock Warehouse as well as the Wavelength Slimline Embossing Folder and the brand new Fadoodle Flowers stamp set. I have cut my card base out of that green cardstock and I'm using my extra leftover piece here and it will fit perfectly inside my Slimline Embossing Folder. And I want to create kind of an inked background letterpress inspired kind of background. So I'm adding some Distress Oxide ink to one side of my embossing folder and sandwiching in that piece of cardstock. And you want to be really careful not to move it before you put it into your die cut machine or whatever machine you use to emboss. And I wanted it to have kind of a flowy feel so that's why I used Distress Oxide and I sprayed it knowing that it wouldn't have this perfect coverage but be a more fluid looking coverage of ink and that would match perfectly well with some splatter. So I have put some white acrylic paint onto a block here and sprayed it with water and just using it to splatter all over my background. And because it is paint, it will need some time to dry. So I'm going to use my embossing heat gun here just to help speed up that process. I also wanted to add some green ink splatter. So I am adding the splatter to my background. You can achieve this look using a reinker and water just like we did with the white acrylic paint. I'm going to use my embossing tool again to help speed up the dry time and then use my card builder slimline die cut to frame that background and it will fit nicely onto my slimline card. So you can see I have my base out of that same green cardstock. It was an 8.5 by 11 sheet and I trimmed it down to be 8.5 by 7 and then scored it along the seven inch at three and a half creating an eight and a half by three and a half card base i've applied some adhesive foam to the back of my splattery fun background pulled off that release paper and adhered it to the center of my slimline card base I just love all that texture from the embossing and the ink and the splatter i just think it's a really pretty background with pretty minimal effort now for my daisies, I'm using that new Fadoodle stamp set and I am going to be using some watercolor paper. I already laid down my embossing buddy, which is adding some baby powder to help with any sticking of the embossing powder. I stamped it twice using my VersaFine ink in Onyx Black. And now I'm going to add some clear embossing powder to all of those flowers because I am going to be doing a little bit of watercoloring. And I mean a very little, very minimal watercoloring on this card. And once I have applied all of the embossing powder, I'm going to clean up a little bit so I don't knock over my powder and then use my heat tool to emboss all of those flower images. When watercoloring, I really like embossing my images because it creates a raised line and helps just keep that watercolor inside of the line where you are coloring. I'm going to use my Zig Clean Color brush pens to color my daisies in and I'm just applying yellow to the centers and then also bringing out my orange to add any accents to the yellow and then I will use a blender pen just to blend that orange in a little bit more with the yellow. Just trying to make it look a little more blended and seamless between those two colors. And once I have colored in all of my images and I'm happy, again, like I said, very little water coloring on this card, I'm just going to use some small scissors and fussy cut out all of those flowers. Now for the fun part of figuring out how I'm going to lay out all of these cute little daisies onto my background, I'm going to spare you the probably 10 minutes of me <laughs> changing my mind and rearranging all the flowers, and I settle on having them all kind of pile in that lower right hand corner. I'm going to alternate between using some foam, dimensional, and liquid glue to adhere these flowers down. Anything I want kind of popped up in a little closer to the card receiver will be popped up with a foam adhesive. And then anything that will go directly onto my background to look more behind those flowers will just be using some wet glue. And again, alternating and adding the different flowers in different spots in that lower right hand corner until I am happy. 
I'm going to pull out an embellishment pack that has some beautiful yellow sequins that I thought would blend in really well with these daisies. And I'm just going to pick out some different yellow sequins and put them in different various spots around my card. And once I'm happy with the placement, use my jewel picker and wet glue to adhere those down. Now for my sentiment, I really love the Hey You sentiment from the stamp set. I did a quick little quick strip die cut using an oval with a nice little stitch pattern and stamped Hey You in my black ink. I'm going to pop it up with some foam dimensional and adhere that to the top left hand corner of the card. And because I'm still having some issues with my card not folding super well, I'm just going to bring out a bone folder and really press on that crease of my slimline card base. And here is the final card. Hey you with these cute daisies. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you will check out the links down below to get these items for your own collection. We hope you'll subscribe to our channel if you're new and you'll also check out our Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook group where you can find more inspiration on how to use all of these products. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.